Oh, hey, Quagmire. How was marching band practice? Peter, you know this is a pilot's uniform. It represents years of specialized training. I had to fly to Aruba, so I brought my mom along with my friends and family discount. Did you? Yes, Joe, I got you a magnet. Oh, airline employees can get discounted tickets for family and close friends. What? How, how come you never done that for us? I'm going to San Francisco next week. You guys want to come? San Francisco? That city from And the Band Played On and Milk? I'm in. Yeah. Well, I'm off to San Francisco with the guys. Okay, I'm off to Hilton Head with the girls. You what? Peter, I told you about this a month ago. All right, I'll go tell the guys I'm not going. Why is he taking his suitcase to tell the guys? You guys, come on, we gotta go now. Let's go, move it. So what are we gonna do first? I wanna see the Golden Gate Bridge. I wanna see Lombard Street. Let's get lesbian haircuts and see them all. You guys, look, it's Golden State Warriors star Steph Curry. Steph, I'm such a big fan. To be just four games away from the championship. Dad, I duked. Let's keep doing what we've been doing. Fat lady, fat lady. Yeah, I, I see her, Peter. Wow, so that was San Francisco. I didn't realize how hilly it was gonna be. Hey, you know, we're here early. You guys want a little tour of the plane? Wow, this place is cool. Autopilot? Oh, that allows the plane to fly itself when I need a break. Wait, what do you mean a break? You don't have to fly the plane? What the hell, Quagmire? So, so basically, your job is just goofing off. That's not true. I broke Gandalf in half. It's Dumbledore! Get the hell out of my cockpit! <laughs> Joke's on him. I fatted just before he kicked us out. Oh, oh, God! Okay, nobody move! Those guys in first class have guns. Cleveland, just be happy with what you have. Don't envy people. You move, you're dead. So nobody try to get smart. Hmm, page 100. Hmm. Our flight has been... Oh, damn it, they jammed the transmission. I'm gonna have to go to the backup communication system. Open the door or your co-pilot gets it. No, I'm landing at the closest airfield, which is less than an hour away. Open the door or I'll start executing passengers. Man, coming on this trip was a terrible idea. A flight from San Francisco to Quahog has lost contact with air traffic control. That's your father's flight. What's it gonna be? Are you going to open this door, or am I going to start killing people? You, fat guy, get up here! Don't open it, Quagmire. It's not worth it. Okay. Wait, wait, what? That was quick. You know, I have a gun in the bag I checked. If we can get to the galley, we can take the elevator down to the cargo hold. Good idea, Joe. Can't you see how important I am? My shirt is blue, but the collar is white. It's the same shirt. Quick, he's distracted. Get off my plane. What's that now? Hmm? Nothing. Two of the passengers are missing. Okay, you guys watch the main cabin. I'll go find them. I'll take this fat guy as a human shield. There's another update. Good afternoon, I'm Tom Tucker. The search for a missing airliner continues as speculation grows that the plane has been hijacked. Ah, uh, here's my bag. Hey, what are you two doing down here? Peter, grab onto something! Uh-oh, I grabbed my own belt. <laughs> wow, that is truly awe-inspiring! And you know what you don't see from up here? Borders. Joe, how'd you know that level would open the landing gear? Wheels are my expertise, Peter. I notice every wheel in a room as soon as I enter. <laughs> Get off my pl- Double trouble! Sorry. Come on, man! Uh, looks like you'll make that business meeting after all. Great! Thanks for keeping us in the sky, boys. Now reach for it. Crashing this plane into the ultimate symbol of American materialism. Las Vegas. Very good. We are less than 20 minutes from Las Vegas. Get ready to say goodbye to your precious Rita Rudner. As you can see, I've taken off my blazer to show the severity of the situation. It is headed for Las Vegas. The government, fearing the worst, is considering shooting it down. Oh, look, there's one guy who slept through this whole thing. Hey, buddy, wake up. We're all about to die. What? Like, like, how come you Eastern European guys can't be quieter in pornos? They ask us to do that to cover up the sound of children playing nearby. So, uh, I think you're gonna flip for it! Yeah! Oh, come on! Doesn't anybody pay attention to the sign? That's a military fighter jet! He's here to shoot us down! Or she. What? They must think the hijackers still control the plane! They don't need your help! We kicked their asses and we have their guns! I've got a visual on the terrorists. They've got a hostage in a blue shirt with a white collar. Everybody in your seats!
Frank Caliendo does a five o'clock show, Quagmire land this plane. We're gonna die. Like hell we are. We're gonna make it. <laughs> oh yeah, right there. Giggity. Wow, Quagmire, thanks for saving all of our lives. We're sorry for saying your job was easy. Yeah, you're the best damn pilot in the world. Cleveland Joe! Peter! Let's head home. I know I, for one, am ready to put all this behind us. Sounds good. Hi, boys. I didn't have my hand down my pants. Hmm, good for you. I just bought us some new sheets at Bed Bath & Beyond. Filthy, stinky prostitute. Uh, okay, I get it. You foul venereal disease carrying streetwalking whore. All right, that's enough. <laughs> George! George? Who the hell is George? George Clooney? Oh, I don't know. I, I just don't feel that spark anymore. I mean, a honeymoon. That's what we need. We'll go on a second honeymoon. Well, that's everything. Now remember, kids, Brian is in charge while your father and I are out of Cape Cod. Do you guys have a good time? You're the only one here to change me. What do you think of that? Mm hmm? I'm not gonna change you. What? I said I'm not gonna change you. Well, you can't be serious. I swear to God, these kids are gonna make me put a bullet through my head. Well, if I was in charge, we wouldn't be having this problem. Well, you got some ideas? Tell me. Sweetheart? Ah! Oh, you're awake. Hey, uh, can you hear me to pretzels? Yeah. Hey, why don't you go back to sleep? I'll wake you up when we get there. Okay. Fella. <laughs> oh, jeez! You're... Whoa! Peter, what the hell is wrong with you? It's completely total, Peter. Oh, this is just terrific. How are we gonna get... I knew I should have driven. I should always drive. They said they'd have the car fixed by tomorrow, and then our second honeymoon's back on track, eh? Give me that! Chris, give me the go. remote! Chris, stop! Stop Chris, Chris, it. Chris! My hat! <laughs> Raise your voice to them. Hey, knock it off! Look, you kids are obviously in need of some type of activities. Peter and Lois were supposed to chaperone Chris's school dance tomorrow night, so I guess it's up to me. You mean it's up to us? 900 bucks to fix the car. That was all the money we had for this trip. Look, Peter, the second honeymoon was a nice thought, but maybe we should just go home. Patricia Takanawa is on hand for the opening of Manhattan's newest luxury hotel. Mel Gibson, who has his own room on permanent reserve, which he barely uses. Barely uses, huh? Well, okay, maybe just one sip. Christopher Griffin, is that alcohol? You're in serious trouble. Uh, excuse me, I'm Mel Gibson, here for the key to my specially reserved room. You're Mel Gibson? Yes, I've put on a few pounds for my next role. Peter, the toilet paper is made of money. Yeah, and look at this. They even got some of that high-class British porn. Almost. Almost. I didn't actually drink any of it. Besides, Jake Tucker gave it to me. Well, we are going to have a talk with Jake's parents tomorrow after my birthday. Ah! If your teachers ask about your bruises, what do you tell them? I got hit by a baseball! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mel! Mel? Wait a minute. You were fantasizing about Mel Gibson. You don't find me attractive anymore. I'm just gonna watch British porn. You know, Margaret, we could have sexual intercourse right now. Oh, no, I just always feel badly when we have to be strict. Oh, did I remember to turn the stove off? Yes. Lois, we are screwed. Wow. Whoa! Chris Tucker and Jim Caviezel? Is that it? I am gonna make sure this never sees the light of day. Peter, are you crazy? This is a multi-million dollar film, and he's a very powerful man. Seems he left something very valuable in his room, and we're here to retrieve it. Mr. Gibson just checked out a moment ago. There he goes now. Uh-oh. Oh, we never should have stolen this film. Oh, man, this is even more intense than that time I forgot how to sit down. Peter, what the hell are you doing? Lois, trust me, how many times have I done this before? All right, but be careful. Can my wife, Stacy, get you anything? Go to hell, Tom. Already there, hon. Jake had some vodka at the school dance, and uh, Chris got blamed for it. Jake's a good boy. Look, Mr. Tucker, We're I... We're through here. Get out of my house, Benji. Well, fine. Maybe I'll do this. Yeah, look at this. <gasps> I know, I know, I know. Let's plant drugs in his locker. It's a great idea. Yeah, I thought you'd like that. Well, Mel Gibson, this is one piece of crap the world will never have to suffer through. <laughs> I am so clever. Ah! Ah! Peter! 
I'm doing this because I have to. What are you gonna do to me? Oh, what are you gonna do to me? As soon as your husband gives me what I want, you're free to go. Come on, honey, let's get out of here. Don't worry, Lois, there's a dog turd in there. There's a dog turd in here. Uh-oh. Coming, Lois. I want that film. Oh, sure. It's uh, right over there in President Rushmore's mouth. Ah! Christians don't believe in gravity. Uh, Peter, it's back. What? That rash? No, no, the spark. I guess it just goes to show that you. Shut up and let's do it. Buddy mm. <laughs> <laughs> Cianci Jr. High School student has been arrested for possession of drugs. This already doesn't make sense. You're fired, Griffin, for destroying company property. Tell it to my tongue. <laughs> Mr. President, we have a situation. The Decepticons plan to destroy the seven wonders of the world, starting with the Hagia Sophia. That chest plate is where they're most vulnerable. If we could find someone strong enough to throw a keg with enough force, we might have a shot. There may be one. I wonder who it is. Search is underway for a man strong enough to throw a keg with enough force to save the seven wonders of the world. You're wasting your time coming here. I don't throw kegs anymore. Who's this? It's not me that's asking. It's America. Hell, America, my answer is no. I have to go change my mind in the shower. Hold on! Damn it, I'm in. Still trying to put the world back together, I see. Oh, hello, Peter. I was just out back working in the garden. Oh, yeah? Trying to grow some balls? Peter, you used to live here. That was a long time ago. It was two months ago. Two months is a long time when you don't sleep and only eat ground beef. Nothing bad will ever happen to the Hagia Sophia, right? Not on my watch. Pete, save that basilica. According to the calculations on my Microsoft Surface, they have advanced cloaking technology. Let's have a fight with so many quick shots and close-ups you can't tell what's going on. Peter, don't! It's suicide! Take care of my kids' bikes. I can't believe Peter's gone. Who's that ugly son of a bitch? Wait, they, they welded you back together? And they knew you were alive the whole time? Is everything all right? Yeah, no, I, I think I'm just tired from all the flying back and forth. Maybe we just talk here for a little bit? You're three hours late. Stop trying to be a clock. You ain't got the face for it. I've had enough of your nonsense. <gasps> it's a cliché. Oh, coma breath. Coma? Stab me with his scalpel and then run out. Thanks. Oh, that was unnecessary but cool. So awesome. Wow.